Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are in Silent Hunter 5 in U557, just coming into port now, surrounded by some friendly ships just mooring up and offloading and unloading and unloading their cargo. So, that's a nice, look at that, Julia, that is a nice ship, isn't it? Got some boxes of goods on there. Oh, a Greek vessel by the looks of it, lovely. Right, we're just coming to a stop now uh, as we come in in here, look, all variety of craft in here, we just obviously gone past the little fishing boat, back there, um, I thought somebody was shooting at us then, it was just, just thunder, don't worry, um, so we've come back to port, and I was just checking the condition of our sub, we are 100% integral on the old hull, still got a bit of man flu as you can probably hear, in the back of the throat, um, but all our subsystems appear to be 100% as well, so, this could be just a quick rearm, refuel, and we'll head back out to sea. Yes, we could potentially um, hold up here for a couple of weeks and spend some of that renowned. We've just um, won in the uh, the port raid on the previous episode, but um, no, I think we're going to just here we go. Let's just refit. Okay, so it's given us the torpedoes that we would expect, and and 100% fuel. It's always worth double checking this. 99% fuel. That's excellent. Right. That's good. Right. Let's then, in that case, head out of here. Um, and where are we going to go? I hear you ask. Well, we've got a couple of options. So we've got the Tobruk Siege, which is what I'm thinking about doing. Now, the Middle Eastern Supplies. I think we've completed this. That's all looking good. Uh, Malta. We could Malta again, and we've also got Gibraltar, haven't we? Uh, let's get to Brook out of the way, as it's close. And if we can get this one completed, we'll then can concentrate back on Malta and Gibraltar. Um, yes, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so what we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head down there to to um, to Brook and see if we can cause some ruckus down there. I'm just going to do a bit of a tight turn around here. Try not to hit anything. Keeping an eye on the chief. It's kind of like that. If anyone, anyone's ever seen, what was it Galaxy Quest, where it's like kind of like a Tim Allen in a kind of like a Star Trek spin-off, not spin-off, sort of like um, you know spoof movie. And uh, yeah, they uh, <laughs> they take out the ship and um, they scrape along all the wall as they're coming out of the uh, space dock. And I've got a kind of a vision of that happening right now. But I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be grand. We're going to be grand. Right. So, we're going to press on, and I will see you once we're closer to, to Brook. Obviously, it's all going to be friendly forces around here for a number of miles. So, um, yep, I'll just guide our way out of here, and then we'll black south uh, around Crete and um, down to Brook. And, uh, and you'll join me somewhere around there. So, until then, I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. Just a quick update on how our journey is going. Uh, you may also be able to see a little bit of smoke on the horizon. It's just glitched out. There we go. We have a destroyer over there. But don't fear, it is actually an Italian destroyer. So um, we don't need to worry about him. Interestingly, we've also got a U-boat over here somewhere. Can't see him. Now there's him. No, I can't see the U boat. He's uh must be a little bit out of our visual range. So that's the boat, he's pretty much at the edge a little bit. So uh, there's a U boat coming down there as well. So we got quite a friendly little convoy coming down to uh, down to Tobruk, <laughs> which is going to be interesting. Now, uh, we've just come along uh, across this uh, U-boat, uh, and he's heading in that direction. But I think um, this destroyer may well be bugged because um, 
we we met up with him in here. Uh, and as we changed course, he changed course with us. And he's basically, I think he's been, I think there is a, a little bug in this game, even with this mod, that uh, sometimes the destroyers can get locked onto you. And they'll just keep changing course as you change course. Now, in this case, it's not too bad because it's a, it's a friendly. <laughs> so what we could potentially do, and this is why I haven't reloaded, is that we could drag the destroyer down to Brook as well. Uh, and if this little sub is coming with us as well, we could potentially have a little two sub, one uh, surface contact task force to come hunt some uh, shipping. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but that's my uh, working theory at the moment. And I think that would be... That'd be fun. Okay, the ship may steal a few kills off us, but it'll be worth it for the novelty value, wouldn't it? Don't you think? Oh, I'm being blind. I can't see him. But never mind. He's out there somewhere. The crew has spotted him, which is the uh, important thing. Uh, so that was it. I'm just going to bring you a little update on uh, what's happened. Not a lot, to be honest with you. We've just been um, sailing uh, from here, dang through here. It's taken almost 30 minutes. Uh, and that, <laughs> that's an accelerated pace. Um, so yeah, uh, still battling Manfler, as you can probably hear with my coughing and spluttering every so often. But um, we'll press on, and hopefully uh, our little task force can get down to Tobruk and cause some havoc. So I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, we're blatting along, um, and we've come to, to Brook. Um, the reason, let me just bring up this, uh, the reason, uh, we've got a, a message from the B, uh, the BDU saying there's a contact in the area, uh, 32 north, uh, sorry, 32, uh, latitude 32, uh, 40 north, and uh, 26 one east, course 90 degrees, so they're going uh, east. Um, and it's in this region. Uh, so I've started a little search pattern all the way down here. Um, so we got 26, 1, which should be about there. And then we got 32, uh, which should be 40, which should be up here. There was nothing there, so I'm just searching down. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're just going to do a quick search pattern, see if um, anything. Obviously, the, the contact should be moving east, so we'll um, see if we can... Uh, then try and intercept going east, but um, nothing so far. Um, the bad news is that we were trying to bring that little convoy of uh, a little task force of friendlies with us. Now, the submarine decided to go west, but we couldn't do much about that. And we suffered a crash to desktop around about here, uh, which unfortunately meant we had to load a previous save, which put us back here. And the that did clear the uh, the bug with the, uh, the Italian destroyer, and uh, she no longer followed our course. So, um, yeah, we're on our own again. Ah, oh, so what could have been fun, could have been amazing. We're kind of a bit denied by the uh, the bug and the crash there. But um, apart from that, um, nothing else to report. So I'm going to continue to scout this area uh, and then probably look to see if we can't go up here. Oh, hello. Where did that ship come from? Maybe we missed it. Let's go up here then. There's a ship there, apparently. Maybe that's the contact they want from us. We didn't see it when we came... Because we started up here and we came all the way down here. We must have just missed it somehow. Very easy to do. It's a very large piece of water here. And so let's... Yeah, let's... um. We'll do a little bit of um, jiggly poker just in case we miss it. But yeah. Uh, we're going to turn around and... Um, hunt after that ship so uh, yeah hopefully we'll um, bring you back when we uh, get some contacts we'll see you in a bit hi everyone welcome back we have a couple of contacts so let's uh, go up on deck and see we're outside their visual range but our crew has uh, spotted them so let's have a Oh, 
bright light as we come outside. Uh, I can see the smoke. Three, two, zero was the angle. And that looks like two fishing boats. Oh, blimey. We're not having much luck down here. Uh, let's just have a look. Whoops, hang on. If we can get down onto the deck. There we go. Let's just have a look. How is it for the old deck gun? It'd be challenging. We could obviously slow down. And uh, see if that stabilizes the uh, the ship a little bit. So the deck gun, it's a possibility. We'll get a lot of spray in our face, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so this is, this is um, something I wanted to bring up. Someone asked me the question, um, how do you get to see the visual identification and the sonar and that kind of thing? Uh, it's all in the nav map features. Uh, so you can select them here, and you can select the, and that's all from, in the Walls of Steel, that button there. So that's how you do that. Uh, so that's that covered. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice, as you can tell, is still playing up. Uh, so we're here, um, near Tobruk, on the, uh, well, pretty much near the supply route. There's been absolutely zilch up here. Absolute zilch. These two fishing boats, the first time thing I've found in an hour and 24 minutes. Oh my goodness me. Um, so I kind of... Part of me is thinking, oh, let's just use the, the deck gun and sink them. But the other part of me is thinking, it's probably a waste of time. They're going to report our position. Ships are going to diverge. And uh, aircraft are going to come on to us. So I think we're going to abort and um, move on I know sad sad day that we're turning away from targets but they are only two little fishing boats and experience has told us they're only worth a, a thousand aren't they or two, is it two thousand let's have a quick look we did sink a, a fishing boat some time ago um, was it that one that was a European liner what about that one no no maybe we have um, we may well have uh, got into port since then yeah we have okay damn okay it's not <laughs> it's not on those lists but it's only it's only a thousand tons 900 tons if that 982 is the figure I've got in my head for some reason um, so yeah it's really not worth it it's about 2,000 tons there two fishing boats it's gonna be more hassle than it's worth so we're gonna continue down the supply route and see if we can uh, get anything if we can't then we may have to bug out to Brook and go and um, hassle Malta or something. Uh, we know we've done the eastern supplies, so that's okay. Um, yeah, so that was just an update of where we are. It's been a very long and protracted search, and we found two fishing boats. Doesn't really. I feel a little bit shortchanged, if I'm honest. Um, so we're going to con continue on, continue to search, and hopefully find something a little bit juicier to at least bring this video to life with some excitement. Um, fingers crossed. We'll find something. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. We are at battle stations and all quiet. Talking aloud seems a little bit, <laughs> it's like shouting in a library at the moment. It seems a bit weird. Uh, let me show you why. We have, <laughs> it's got to be a convoy. Look at this, we've got four destroyers, probably more, looking at the blue um, markers. But look at all the black ones. These are convoy uh, ships, these are cargo ships. So, um, we're down at 50 meters. We're going uh, silent running. And we're hoping that these will pass over us and we'll try and pop up in the middle, have a couple of snapshots, and sink away. This could go horribly wrong. It probably will go horribly wrong, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Uh, fortunately, we're in quite a deep part of the ocean. Get a quick check. 
Brilliant. So we don't have to worry about, you know, we can go as deep as we dare, shall we say. And, um... Cat is making some funny noises next to me. Um, so we can go as deep as we dare, but for now we're going to uh, hang here and hopefully skip through. I'm hoping we get through this defense here. That would be amazing. We may or may not work, um, but we'll see. It's quite wide. Uh, and I'm guessing there's another ship there, another ship there, another ship there. One behind as well. Maybe a couple behind. A whole circle of destroyers by the looks of things. So this is going to be high risk. But I think after uh, an hour and three quarters, it's time to uh, chant something. You know, rather than going for some fishing boats. Um, uh, just to show you where we are, we're just doing a search pattern around here. And this is where we've run into them. So uh, all is good. Um, let's have a quick look what we got. We've got an electric and we've got steam and we've got steam there. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, I, yeah, it's going to be snapshots and then go away as quickly as we physically can and quietly as we physically can. Uh, it may be that we get spotted straight away by these, um, sort of, uh, the, um, the forward ships and if that's the case then uh, it we could be could be a bust straight away but um, we'll see what we can do uh, so we're gonna wait a few moments and let these ships come on to us come on to us and uh, see what we need to do so fingers crossed Hi everyone, welcome back. We've just snuck through the... Fingers crossed, this is very tense. We're sneaking through the defensive line. Now, we're behind the active radar. Uh, what we need to do now is probably plot to... Um, come a little bit more. Let's just uh, sort this out. Let's just uh, get rid of all these previous uh, marks. I'm not going to do those. Those are superfluous to our current needs. Right. Boop. Up you come. Right. So what we're going to do is obviously we're then going to turn like that. Almost, well, 90 degrees so we can get, um... Because the ships obviously are going to be coming this way as well. We don't want to be facing, you know, along their beam as it were. We want to be, um broadside to them so we can get some good shots so yeah we're gonna just do a quick turn now actually let's just do it now and then um we could potentially uh think about so we're not surfacing <laughs> oh that would be suicide um but um certainly uh coming towards the surface a little bit more up to periscope depth it's gonna wait a few minutes longer waiting for these uh ships to fully pass us and then um and then we're going to uh try that we don't want to get um anyone excited at this stage so a little bit more maneuvering a little bit more patience a little bit more intrepidation and uh fingers crossed we'll get there in a few minutes right let's do this we're at battle stations we've got silent running put the hatch down just in case the worst happens and the ship takes off the uh the conning tower I'm sure that happens. Or well, it won't take it off, but you know, some contact. Some sort of contact. Right, we need to be super quick and observant. Right, come on. Get some picture. Holy crap, we got a ship right there. Ship right behind us. Right, let's lock onto this. Identify it, please. We're going to be super quick. Get this done. ASAP. No, 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 that one. Um, so tube 4 loaded, we're going to go medium, um, hello, where's my, um, there we go, that's a catapult ship, eh? Oh, it's got a little seaplane on it, I see, right, um, range, I'm all very conscious that they, well, there you go. Uh, we'll be able to see us our little periscope. Uh, it's going to be about six knots-ish. Bow 
is we are probably yes, that's about right. Plot the solution. Um, that'll do. We got an impact fire. Quickly, quickly, come on! We've got a ship just coming in front of us now. Right, that's away. We've got this huge ship in front of us, but we're gonna. Well, let's. Should we have a shot at? Maybe this one. Oh, there's that one. Right, we'll have a snapshot at this one then. Plots, plots. Uh, fire. Just fire. Right. Dive. Let's get the hell out of here. Not even, don't even care if that one hits or not. Well, it would be nice if it does hit. Don't get me wrong, but um, they, I heard some shells coming over, so we just need to get out. We just need to get out. Right. That ship has been sunk behind us. That torpedo is off. Um, let's just go this way and um, get down as deep as quick as we can. That was... A capital ca catapult ship for 4,300 tons. Lovely. Well, that ship won't be bothering us. Hi everyone. Uh, they got our number. They are pinging us. but So we are doing some crazy maneuvers. And uh, hopefully this will be enough to um, confuse them a little bit. Uh, we should be at battle stations. We are at battle stations. There we go. The hatches should be close to battle stations. That's what I was going to say. Now we're at battle stations for realsies. Right, we're sitting here at 50 or 65 meters. I actually think we better go a bit deeper. Um, so let's let's dive a little bit. We're still maneuvering, which is good. Uh, as they're actively pinging us, we're going at pretty much flat, flat out at seven knots, uh, and we'll get we'll get down in the yellow, and hopefully that will uh, give us a little bit more real room to uh, sneak away from these boys. Oh, active ping has gone off. Let's. Go quiet. They've stopped actively pinging us. They've gone past us, you see. Thanks to my manoeuvring. Uh, maybe let's go this way. Oh, they're pinging us again. Let's go. Okay. Hopefully, well, they probably will. Because the ships are currently dodging in and out of the convoy, uh, freighters um, they're having a difficult time locking onto us so as soon as you can see there's still some we we're right in the middle of it because you can see this like the star of um, contact black marks coming away from us once those ships all pass us then they'll have a free reign to do their proper search patterns and then we could be in some trouble um, but for now um, we're just going to try and uh, skedaddle and see if we can get a little bit of a lead on them. So we're going to continue to slow maneuver, go quiet, and fingers crossed, it will work. Moving fast, closing, bearing one six nine, short range. Wasser bomb. Wasser bomb. New contact, merchant. Moving fast, closing, bearing twenty three. Moving slow, constant distance, bearing 40, medium range. Oh. 
Hi everyone, welcome back. We're sitting here at 120 meters still. Um, we've had a lot of depth charging activity, nothing too close. You can see the main convoy with some of the escorts have now headed out of, this, out of the, um, the zone. But we've still got two escort destroyers which are basically locked onto us. We can't get rid of them. Um, we've tried to do as much wiggling as we physically can. Um, and they seem to be locked onto us, which is weird because... We haven't had any active sonar in a while. So how they know where we're going and changing course without... You the music stopped. That was quite freaky. Ooh! That sounds close. Okay, quick save later. Uh, let's dive down a little bit more. If they give me my mouse control, let's um, let's dive down. Let's go down to 140. Have to admit, these um, AI ships now that were in Mare Nostrum campaign in the later date, they're getting you know quite challenging. In the first campaign, taking on a convoy was pretty much easy. Me, you maybe had one destroyer, maybe two. And you could easily tie them up. Now they've got five or six and they're fully armed destroyers. Where are we are? We're June 1941. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. I hate to think how it's only going to get it worse. Now we've got some active sonar. Okay. Let's get moving then. Let's go behind them. Oh no, wrong one. Uh, let's. Oh, here we go. Let's go quiet now they're not actively pinging us. We're dropping down to 132. Let's... It's difficult to tell exactly where they are. Obviously, which way they're going. That one's going this way. This one's going this way. Let's head that way. <laughs> oh no, wait. Has he changed course? Let's follow him. He's not going to be able to hear us in his baffles, so uh, let's get behind him for a second and stay there. Come down to 140 meters now. Okay, let's um, let's hold here for a second. Right, let's try and turn behind him as well. And then when he, as he does this, hopefully we can just sneak away. Actually, let's, let's go like that. Let's keep it tighter. Let's chance a bit more speed. No. Get a bit noisy for this guy then. Okay, now he's turning this way and he's starting to listen over here. He's going that way. Oh, fun and games, eh? Fun and games. New contact. Warship moving fast, moving away. Bearing 227. Medium range. Hold here. Ah, right, they're still on us. Can't shake them. Everyone else is going away. Oh, hello. We got a third one, have we? Or they? No, I think those two are from the actual convoy ex uh, escort, which is fine. Right. Going to do ourselves a little bizarre little route out. Hopefully they'll um, well they'll be able to track us because they always are, but um yeah we need to try something. Okay, 
Now that's actually them pinging us. Sometimes the, the ping sound is in the, in the music. Now that's them actively pinging us. Okay, let's get a bit of speed going. Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh, we're getting absolutely bombarded. What we might do actually, do we have a decoy launcher? I think we might, mightn't we? We've been actively pinged. What we might do is they come in for the next run, see if we can launch a decoy. Go even more silent. Oh, let's um, let's black uh, Let's make a noise then, so they know where we are. Uh, what I'm doing? I'm heading slowly towards the coast because I knew I do know if they won't get off us, eventually they won't be able to get come any further because they can't go too shallow. Um, that could be several hours away, mind. Um, battery is at 89%, so we're not doing too badly there. Um, CO2 is up to 10%, which is not great, but, um, yeah. Now, of course, I can't read German, so I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> Starboard engine, uh, backboard engine, I don't know. Uh, drunk fuel, um, yeah. It's got flat gun, flat gun. Deck gun, uh, something torpedo, rudder starboard, rudder port, I suppose. Backboard is pretty support, is it? Gotta be. Um, yeah, okay. So we've been actively pinged, so um, there's not much we can do at the moment, it's just kind of blat it as best we can. Uh, they'll come around for another pass. We'll try and release a uh, a decoy and see if they'll buy that. We'll then suddenly go silent and then we'll dive into the red and uh, and see if they can uh, be fooled that way. That's the plan. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go. Destroyers going ahead. Hard to port. Dive. I'm expecting some depth charges to be going off soon. There we go. Let's keep an eye on this depth. Yeah, we've gone up to 151 meters. It's a great sound. It's, it's horrible, isn't it? Right. Look at my finger. There we go. Let's fire decoy. Decoys fired. Let's go silent. Hydrophone damaged. That actually came very close to us. We've taken some damage of that. Let's see. Uh, what's damaged? That's damaged. I don't know what that is. Um, flooding is 2%. Oh, we've taken a hit in the forward art, um, things. I don't know what any of this is. It's all destroyed anyway because it's red. Um, funk? Is that the pump? I don't know. No, pump's got to be the pump. Right, hang on. Flooding, 
level is okay, that's under control. Let's go and check out what damage has been caused. I can hear it. It's not the toilet, is it? No, it's not the toilet. Oh, it's the torpedo room. Taking a hit on the on the nose. Torpedo tubes are probably knacked. Is that what that? Hang on, let's just have a look. See if that is what that is. We are dropping. Also, um, mm. right. Chief, where's Chief? Chief, 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 Chief. There you are. Uh, we, how's the flooding doing, actually? Flooding. Oh, hang on, hang on. Sorry, Chief. Can I keep up the good work? I need to come back to you. Flooding is four percent, right? Um, Chief. Actually, before we do that, sorry, I'm not, I'm not trolling you. Let's secure from silent run. Let's increase repair time, Chief. Chief, we also want to decrease. Oh, what's going on? Reduce the flooding time. Thank you, Chief. We've got a bit of a bit of an angle going on here. Let's. We're not. We're going to go to periscope. That we're just trying to stop this descent. Oh no! This could be the end. What does that mean? We're below the crouch depth. Yeah, thank you. We're not slowing down, boys and girls. We might have to blow. Emergency blow. We're sinking like a stone. This is the end, my friends. There goes the pressure. This is the start of the end. I'm sorry, my crew. So there we are guys, the end of U557, sad day indeed, the end of the series, I am sorry to say, June the 15th, 1941, the end of our promising career. So um, here we get a quick rundown of what we were able to do. The Middle Eastern supplies, as I said, we'd finished that. That was on okay. We'd finished the uh, first deployment and the transfer campaign orders. This is all for Mare Nostrum, of course. Um, ship sunk on Mare Nostrum was 17, one warship, and a total tonnage of 133,330, which is not bad. Your promising career was ended abruptly. Your comrades wish you were giving the time to become another U-boat ace. But the truth is, war doesn't forgive mistakes. And nor does YouTube. So we'll leave it there, guys. A sad end. A sad end to U-557. What I might do is... Do you remember when we started Mare Nostrum, we had a choice of doing North Atlantic or the Mediterranean? Um, as we've had a death in the Mediterranean, I might see if we can go back to that point and start um, from there and or continue from there, should I say, and we'll go and maybe try the North Atlantic mission instead. Um, thoughts and comments, as always, in the section below, or would you like us to start? Well, we've got three options, really. Would you like us to start from scratch from 1939 all over again with the Wolves of Steel? Would you like to restart Mare Nostrum and try that again? Or would you like to go to the alternative Atlantic campaign? I will put a poll up in this video 
Uh, so please click on that. It may have some issues if you're watching on mobile, but um, hopefully you will be able to uh, see the poll. It should pop up in a little I in the or P in the corner, a little white P or I. I can't remember which one it is now. But keep your eye out for that. Uh, and I will act accordingly. So um, yes, it was inevitable. It was going to happen. And sadly it happened today. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.